Hey guys, it's Danny, and today I am sharing two very different yet equally delicious zoodle salad recipes with you. Now, these would be great for a cookout or a picnic, or if you just wanted a light lunch or dinner. I'm gonna be making a creamy peanut zoodle salad and a Mediterranean zoodle salad. Now, if you haven't already, please take a moment and subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to ring that notification bell. This way you never miss a new video. And you will see that we have a very supportive community here, and we would love to have you as a part of the Clean and Delicious family. Now, zoodles are simply noodles made from zucchini, and they are a really great veggie-packed, nutrient-dense, low-carb alternative to traditional pasta. So they would make a pasta salad, like we're making today, very fresh and light and seasonal. Now, if you want to learn more about zoodles, I have an entire video dedicated to it. You can check it out in the cards or right up here, but basically you do need some type of tool to make your zoodles. And while there are a lot of different tools out there, I have two favorites, the Vegetti and the Inspiralizer. Now, the Vegetti is a small handheld tool. It fits right in your drawer and it's very convenient and it's very inexpensive. You can buy one for about 10 bucks. So I think this is ideal if you're just cooking for one or two because it's very convenient and you don't have to make a big investment. On the flip side, I also really like the Inspiralizer. This gadget is a little more expensive. It will cost about $40, but it's really efficient. So if you were cooking for a family like I am, or if you make zoodles very often, this gets the job done very quickly and very easily. I'm gonna leave links down in the description box below so you can check them both out and make your own decision. So today I'm using the Inspiralizer, and for both salads, I'm using two medium-sized zucchinis as the base. Now, when working with the Inspiralizer, you want to prep your zucchini by taking a thin slice off the top and the bottom, and then I'm gonna make a vertical cut down the zucchini, but you wanna make sure not to go through the center. So you're going like right into the center, but not through the center. And what this does is when you start to inspiralize your zucchini, it actually separates each noodle so you don't end up with one long ongoing zoodle. Once my zoodles are ready to go, I'll get them in a nice big bowl, set that aside, and we're gonna make our dressing. Now, the first salad is that creamy peanut salad, so we're gonna be making a creamy peanut dressing by combining one quarter cup of all natural creamy peanut butter. Now guys, remember, whenever you are buying your nut butters, all you wanna see in that ingredient list is whatever nut it is and perhaps some salt. There's no need for any added oils or added sugars. One clove of crushed garlic, a tablespoon of grated ginger, gives it a little kick, two tablespoons of rice wine vinegar, three tablespoons of low sodium tamari. You could also do a low sodium soy sauce here. The tamari is simply gluten free, so if that's a concern of yours, you could choose that. One tablespoon of toasted sesame oil, a squish of sriracha if you like a little heat, and a pinch of salt. I'm gonna gently whisk that all together. And then I'm gonna drizzle the dressing right over the noodles and toss until all the noodles have a nice light coating of the dressing. Then from here, if you're serving in this dish, you're gonna add your toppings or get it into your serving dish. And we're gonna sprinkle on chopped up scallions, some roasted peanuts, and if you like cilantro, sprinkle a little cilantro right over the top. And then what I love to do is right before I serve it, give it a little bit of red chili flakes for color and a little more heat. Now if that sounds delicious to you, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're excited to see the next salad, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. We're just going thumbs up crazy. So. Salad number two is a Mediterranean zoodle salad. Now this is a salad that I actually saw on the Inspiralized Instagram page. She shares tons of recipes using different Inspiralized vegetables, so not just zucchini. So if it's something that you're interested in exploring more or playing around with, definitely check out her Instagram page. Now for this recipe, not only do we have our Inspiralized zoodles, but we're also adding an Inspiralized onion. Who knew? you could turn an onion into noodles. Well, you can, here's what you do. You're gonna start by just thinly slicing the stem end off of the onion. Then I'm going to make, just like we did with the zucchini, a vertical slice towards the center, but not all the way through the center. We want the core to stay intact. And then go ahead and pull the skin off and get it on the Inspiralizer 
and get cranking. Now we only need about half of this onion, so you can save the other half for another recipe. Get those onions into your bowl along with one can of quartered artichoke hearts that have been drained off, a half a cup of pitted Kalamata olives that I've cut in half, one can of drained and rinsed chickpeas, then a half a cup of feta cheese. And guys, remember whenever you are working with feta cheese or blue cheese, if you can, buy it in the block and then crumble it yourself because you're always gonna get a better flavor and a better texture. And then one cup of baby tomatoes that I've sliced in half. I'm gonna set that aside and we're gonna make our dressing. And I didn't mention it before, but I'm sure you guys are used to seeing this. When I make my salad dressings, I love using these glass spouted cups because the measurements are right on the side of the cup. They're easy to mix and they're easy to pour. So it's like a win, win, win. So into the cup goes a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil, two tablespoons of red wine vinegar, one tablespoon of fresh squeezed lemon juice, two cloves of crushed garlic, a teaspoon of Dijon mustard, two teaspoons of Italian seasoning, and some salt and pepper. Go ahead and whisk that all together. Then I'm gonna pull my salad back in, drizzle the dressing over the top, and gently toss. This salad is super light, it's very fresh, and it's great summer flavors, and I personally love it as a side dish to some grilled fish or chicken. So now I wanna know, which of these two salads do you think you will try first? Come on down to the comments below and let me know. Are you team creamy peanut zoodle salad? Or are you team Mediterranean zoodle salad? Guys, if you haven't already, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, make sure you like this video, and share it with anyone else you know who's trying to keep things healthy and yummy. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Danny Spees. I will see you back here next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers. Because it does take a little bit of elbow grease. Is that an expression? A little elbow grease? It does take a little bit of elbow grease. Let me do that again. One, two, three, ready? So it's like a win, win, win. So it's like a win, win, win. And they're easy to pour. So it's a win, win to the win. So it's a triple win. If there was only one more good thing about it, it'd be a home run. <laughs> okay, we got something there. Okay. Uh